Say that again. He's got a spaceman. A spaceman. A spaceman. Oh, a spaceman. I don't yeah. know what you mean by that. Well, where did God come from? Well, he's always been. He's eternal. No, he's not. Yeah, he's oh. always been. No, he's eternal. Was well, Jesus now calling? No, he wasn't. He turned water into wine. It got turned into. Yeah, he, yeah. There's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol, but what? he wasn't an alcoholic. He was proving. He was proving Why that he was God. Why that? Say that again. Sorry. Why not make a priest? It's a good thing, yeah, Jesus is a good thing, exactly, that's all we're trying to tell you here today. And I'm saying to you, okay, if we look around, there's everything we have and we see as a creator. The shoes that you wear, they had a shoemaker. The jacket you're wearing, someone made that. So how can we say that this universe came from nothing? Here's another question for you, okay? In our Earth, we have 8 billion minds, okay? 8 billion minds on our planet. And yet you believe, if you're an atheist, that these 8 billion minds came from no mind. They came from nothing. Does that make sense? Because I'm telling you that God created you and God stepped into this world and took the body of a man called Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. You know, they did wonderful, you know, Jesus did wonderful things. He fed the poor, he healed the sick, he taught amazing things, but what did this world do to him? The most perfect thing that entered into this world, what did they do to him? They put him on a cross. There the Lord Jesus Christ hung there like a puppet on strings. He had nails to his hands and his feet. He had a crown of thorns smashed into his skull. He was bleeding there, dying there. He was spat on. They plucked out his beard. Why? Had he done anything wrong? No, but because you and I have done dreadful things. We've lied. We've used God's name as a swear word by saying OMG. We've blasphemed. We've done awful things. We, all of us have done sins and all of our sins, past, present and future were laid on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's the message I'm telling you today. You cannot get to heaven in your own strength, okay? Do you know this? Uh, have a good look at me now. Can you believe it? There's actually a woman on earth who married me. I'm a married man. Now, do you think I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? You think I have? I have actually, okay? You see these eyes, okay? Imagine everything I've seen in my life went on this board behind me. Would I be embarrassed of anything I've ever looked at? Oh, have you? Okay. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Pam. Pam. Well, you, you might be on YouTube now because uh, <laughs> you're happy with that. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, it's good to see you, Pam. Thank you for stopping. Yeah. You're yeah. just spreading the good news about Jesus. Do you love the Lord, do you? Oh, praise God. Brilliant. You're standing up for the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Well, you, God bless you, Pam, and it's lovely to meet you. Yeah. Take care now. See you later. So, the Lord Jesus Christ, he came into this world and he shed his blood. You see, I've done wrong things. As I said, I've made my wife cry before. I've stolen things. I've got into fights. I've done ter terrible things. But I'm going to heaven, not because I'm a good person, but because all of my sins were put on the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. They were paid for on the nail and they've gone. The Bible says that the Lord God will take our sins and bury them at the bottom of the ocean if we put our trust in Jesus. But if you say, no thank you Jesus, no thank you God, I don't need that. Well then those sins will cling onto your account and when you die and you stand before the judgment seat of Christ, all of your sins will be there and you will have to pay for them for all of eternity in a place beginning with H and ending in L. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? A place where the worm does not die. A place where there is a lake of fire. A place where there is weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. A place that I hope no man or no woman goes there. But the reality is, do you think there'll be more people in heaven or more people in hell? Well, Jesus said that the way is narrow. The way to eternal life is very narrow and very few find it. But the way to hell is broad and many people will go there. Which road are you on today? The narrow way which leads to the Lord Jesus Christ or are you on the broad way which leads to hell? My dear friends, come to Christ today. He loves you. He died on the cross for you. He rose from the dead to give you eternal life and he longs to save you.
now. So tell me why I can stop talking about God. Right. So everyone now look at that building there. How do we know that that building wants had a builder? Because the building itself is evidence of what's a builder. If I put a nice big lasagna in front of you, you say you can trust you can cook that lasagna, and I say, oh, it's just going to in there. You say, no, someone must have cooked it. So how do we know that God exists? When we look at creation, the trees, the sun, the moon, the stars, how do we know? Please think about this today. My friend over there, I know you've been listening. You've been my fo- most faithful supporter today, my biggest fan today. You've enjoyed the message and you've heard the gospel. Please turn to Jesus today. I'm only joking. Your name's not really Karen. <laughs> God bless you.